So Jessica, I'm going to hand it over to you with our fancy screen sharing uh, device. Know. We got working. it to work. Is it working? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So I wanted to show you guys uh, some highlights of the Save the Cat software. Um, it's actually been redesigned from the ground up, so it's a it's a brand new software and. The thing that I love the most about this software is that it is built specifically for using the save the cat method. So if you are loving this method, if you're reading the book and going, this is really clicking with me, then, then this software is gonna really help you implement the method and help you brainstorm and develop your novel, you know, uh, beyond just like a, a beat sheet. Um, so this is the screen that you'll see when you create a new novel. You can also create a new movie, but we're gonna focus on novels, obviously. Um, so I'm actually gonna use the example of one of the books I've already written. So it's a book called In Some Other Life. So I'm gonna put that in the title up here. Um, if you have a log line, which we talk about, a log line is a one sentence description of your book. Um, you can paste it in here. You can, also, uh, you can also wait and do it at the end whenever it feels right to you. And um, if you forget what a logline is, the software has these really great little info tabs that you can click and get little hints about the method, about uh, what you know, what that what that box is for. So these are called advice from the cat, which I find really helpful. Um, so I've got this story here about uh, Kennedy Rhodes who bumps her head and wakes up in a parallel universe where um, her life is different and she's made a different choice in her life. Um, so I'm going to focus first on this left column here, this left sidebar. This is the beat sheet. So as you can see, um, it's got all the beats that I talk about in the Save the Cat book. Um, it's got this handy uh, nifty calculator here. So whatever amount of pages you put in, it's going to auto calculate where those beats go based on those um, based on that math that we talked about earlier. Um, so I like to I like to start at 300 just because if I don't know how long my story is going to be, that's a really good kind of average for a young adult novel. So I start with 300. But if you were to put like if you're writing, you know, sort of a Game of Thrones, you might put a thousand in there, and then it's going to auto tell automatically tell you where those beats should go. Um, so I'm going to leave it at 300. Um, but um, I'll just kind of show you like you can click on these uh, these beat cards and you can start filling in, you know, your beats as you as you figure them out. And again. You can always click on the info to figure out, to remind yourself of what those beats are. So I'm just gonna quickly fill in some details from that book um, in some other life. So in the opening image, an email, main character gets an email um, revealing some of her flaws, like, uh, like that she's a control freak. Oh, that's another book I have about a control <laughs> freak. This seems to be a theme for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna put that in there and then, um, and then I can go down here to the catalyst and I can fill in that because I usually I usually figure out my catalyst pretty early when I when I brainstorm. So a catalyst would for this book is um, Kennedy walks in on her boyfriend kissing her best friend. Yikes. Uh oh. Bad. I know. Um, and then after the catalyst comes the debate beat. This is one of those multi scene beats where the character kind of reflects on. This is where you get to walk around thinking for a little bit. Um, but the character reflects on the catalyst. So in this in this beat, I have Kennedy regrets her choices and wonders what to do next. Um, great. So that's just a quick overview of kind of the beat sheet over here. Now I want to show you the board. So I talk a little bit about the board in the Save the Cat book, but basically the board is a virtual cork board where you start, where you take your beats and you get to flesh them out as scenes um, or index cards and really expand upon your story. Now it's important to note, and we can talk a little bit more about this later, that this is not necessarily a software just for plotters versus pantsers. Uh, this is a software that you can use regardless of what phase of the novel writing process you're in. If you have pantsed your way through a first draft and now you need to revise it, this is a great tool to help you revise it and figure out you know, where scenes are gonna go that you might already have or new scenes that you need to write. Um, so the board is broken down into four rows and you can see the beats are listed right underneath where they should go. Um, so the first, um, the first row is act one. The second row is the first half of act two all the way to the midpoint. The third row is the second half of act two and the third row, or, sorry, the fourth row is act three. So as you can see, some of the cards are actually already built in. They've, they've already given them to you. And these are the, the key beats that, um, that are in the beat sheet. So as you can see, we already filled in the opening image and that's appeared here in the opening image card. 
So let's go over here to the debate. As I said, it's a multi-scene beat. So you're going to see multiple scenes of the character debating about what to do about the catalyst. So for example, we have our kind of primary card here for the debate, Kennedy regrets her choices. But let's say we want to add a second scene uh, to that. To that. Um, so we want to add another scene with the character debating. So in this scene, I'm going to have Kennedy um, goes to Windsor Academy to beg for her place. So she regrets having given up her place at the Windsor Academy three years ago, and now she's going to uh, go there and try to get it back. So I can add a little bit more description about that. So I can say like, wants her place back, but there's no room, whatever. I can fill out whatever I want there. Um, now here's what's kind of cool. When you get into the scene detail, there's a lot of things you can do here. So for example, I'm going to add a location. So I'm going to add the Windsor Academy because that's a place that shows up a lot in the book. Now when I try to add it, it says it's, or, it's not already in there, but I, but I can add it. So yeah, I'm going to add it. And now it becomes part of our location list and we can tag locations to all of our scenes and uh, that take place in those locations. Um, but here's the part that I think is really cool. So in the world of Save the Cat, in order to help you with your novel's pacing, we, we say that every scene or chapter should have both an emotional change and a conflict. So those are given to you down here. If you can, if you can make sure that every scene you write has an emotional change and a conflict, then your pacing will rock. Like you will never have pacing issues. And I'm going to explain what that means. So the emotional change, Let's just click and see what the advice from the cat says, is to identify the emotional change from the start of the scene to the end of the scene, which basically means that every scene should start with one emotion and end with a different emotion. And these don't have to be grand shifts, they just have to be subtle shifts. So for example, in my scene where Kennedy actually goes to the Windsor Academy to beg for her place back, she starts out as desperate and she leaves the scene as dejected. So that's the emotional shift there. And in terms of the conflict, it's basically outlining who has the goal and what's in the way of that goal or, or who and who wins. So when Kennedy goes there, her goal is obviously to get her place back. So I can write that. And we represent the conflict by these little combating arrows there. Um, and she can't get in because there's no space. So that's the, that's the conflict. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be huge, but if every scene has these two things, then your plot will really move. So what I love about these scene cards is it kind of it gives it to you to put in. Again, you don't have to put it in, but if you are using this as a checklist to make sure each scene, each scene is dynamic, this is a great place to put that. Um, and then I'm just going to show you really quick, there's lots of things you can do uh, with the scene cards, but specifically, you can add characters, you can like kind of pin characters to the scenes. So I've already gone into my character list and I've added my main character, Kennedy Rhodes. So I'm going to just select her and I'm gonna pin her to this scene. Great. So now she's in this scene, awesome. So I'm gonna X out of here. Um, and that's just a quick kind of view of what the board would look like and how you could add a scene to the board. But I wanna, before we end, I wanna go back over here and show you some other features of this sidebar. So we were in the beats before, but if you click on this next tab, you see these are our characters. So we added Kennedy Rhodes already. Um, and you can add so much detail about your characters. What I like about this software is like you can use it to like absolutely minimally with just kind of lay out your board or just lay out your beats, or you can use all of the features and there are tons of features. It's sort of like a buffet of features and you just choose which ones are helpful to you. So for example, like I can put in her age, a description of her, and remember we talked about the wants and the needs. This is where I was, I was telling you the software is like specifically designed for the Save the Cat method. So this um, allows you to write down what the character wants, what the character needs. And we also talk a lot in the Save the Cat method about the things that need fixing in their life. So what are things in their life that are sort of problematic at the start? So there's little boxes where you can put some of those in here. Um, you can also uh, put in attributes like hair, hobbies, makeup. I mean, there's like, like I said, tons of features that you can use or not use. If you go over here and click boards, you can actually see where Kennedy appears because we've, we've pinned her to that scene. So there's that scene there, which is helpful. You can also add relationships. Like I could decide, you know, who's her love interest? Who is she 
you know, at, at odds with, and I can add relationships there. And uh, you can also add other characters, supporting characters, extras, as they say in the movies. Um, and then this next tab are the locations. So you saw we added the Windsor Academy when, when we tagged that to the scene. Um, again, you can add descriptions, physical locations, history of the location. Um, all of the, the characters and locations, you can pin images. So that like, you know, if you have like an inspiration board and you wanna pin some images to that, um, to that card, you can. Again, with the board, you can see where that location is, is occurring. Um, and there's like really, I mean, like, like I said, there's like so many cool features. Like you can add the architectural style. Like I actually, in the book, the Windsor Academy is described as, having, as being colonial buildings. So I could add that if I wanted to. <laughs> um, so that's sort of an overview of the software. Um, as you can see, it's very robust, but also really simple to just kind of get your ideas down. Um, up here in the help menu, there's user guides. There's how-to videos uh, on how to do some of the how to use some of the features. Um, but this is also really cool. There are sample files. So Save the Cat has created full fleshed out boards for you as samples. So there's a couple movies. There's a TV show, and there's my own novel, The Geography of Lost Things, which I'm you can download. I'm going to show you what that would look like. So this is actually a board that's been completely filled out. So over here. We've got all of the beats. We've got all of the cards. So every single scene in the novel has been laid out here. All of the characters are in the tab, all of the locations, et cetera. Um, so that's, that's for you to kind of look at and get inspiration and see how um, an existing novel might look. And yeah, and so that's the software. I hope you guys find it helpful. That is super